What you are seeing here is a plant growing in an animal that behaves like a plant, living on a plant. Please don't get intimidated by this plantception. Let me explain. The gooey green blobby mass overgrowing the water plant is an animal. It is in fact a massive colony of small polyp-like creatures. Each one of them is a unicellular microbe up to one millimeter in length. Meet the living Harry Potter spell, Stentor Polymorphus. Stentor Polymorphus eats microscopic algae, but doesn't kill and digest them. Instead of feeding on them, it collects these algae and literally farms them in its cell. Borrowing photosynthesis from them, turning the animal stentor effectively into a plant. Imagine yourself turning into a plant just by eating lettuce and it starts growing in you. The algae guests feel so much at home in Stentor's cell that they start to reproduce. Stentor can even pass this algae on to the next generations. The algae provide their host with sugars through photosynthesis. The only thing Stentor has to do in order to feed is to bask in the sun. In return, Stentor acts as algae bus, carrying the otherwise immobile algae into the sunlight and provides them with minerals and CO2. Not all Stentor species have the ability to host algae, like for example Stentor coriolus. Although it has also a green appearance, this stentor species doesn't contain any living algae whatsoever. The greenish pigment stentorin is responsible for its coloration. This species has to work for its food by hunting down prey. Stentor coriolus really must be jealous. Stentors with algae just lean back and enjoy the sunshine. Unsurprisingly, this successful strategy is not uncommon in nature. Take anemones or corals, for example. They are animals relying on algae symbiosis as well. These marine creatures have found ways to host even a greater variety of photosynthetic guests, like for example dinoflagellates. Plants themselves were animal-like creatures once that borrowed photosynthesis from other creatures by ingesting them. Borrowing the ability to feed on sunlight from bacteria more than a billion years ago. The so-called chloroplasts, responsible for the green color of all plants, were once independent creatures called cyanobacteria. Leaving us with the question, what is an animal? What is a plant? Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and stay curious.